Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my empty house tour. Obviously you can see by behind me like we have moved in. But I really wanted to show you the house before it had anything in it. That way then you can have a picture of how the house looked and then how it looks when I decorate all the rooms. There'll be so many videos coming out in relation to this house and how I've decorated it and everything. So make sure you're subscribed to see that. If you're not subscribed to our blog channel, you may have missed the series Building Our Dream Home. I'll have it linked down below, but we show it from start to finish of building this house which was really really exciting but yeah let's get into the house tour <laughs> Welcome to our house. This is the entrance. We have two doors. We're gonna go in the one to the left, which is the master bedroom. Now this is the main bedroom. It comfortably fits a king size bed. I am using a wide angle lens to fit everything in. So it might look a little bit weird. Through the little hallway, we have our ensuite. So it looks like this with the shower on this side. Now in the shower, I actually have two cavities. So I have this one here for all my products. And then the bottom cavity is so that I can prop my leg up to shave it, which does really help. Then we have our towel rails. And then over the other side, we have our vanity. We did get double sinks and I'm so glad we did. They're so amazing. We also got some drawers, which are really helpful for storing products and makeup and things like that. Um, but yeah, that is the ensuite. And then turning around, we do have our toilet over here. It's just kind of hiding away, which is pretty handy. <laughs> now for the exciting part, this is my closet. This is my absolute dream and I designed this myself. I could not be happier with it. And if you're wanting to see more videos on it, there will be more videos. I have plenty more coming, including an empty closet tour and organizing my closet. So stay tuned for them if you wanted to see more detail because I love looking at closets and hopefully you do too. <laughs> Okay, so back into the entrance and across the road we have this room here. Now this is a, I guess, formal living room. It could be a few things, but I am using it as like a sitting room and study type thing. Then if you walk down the hallway, we have our open plan living. So we have the kitchen to the right, we have the dining up the back, and then we have our lounge room. Now in the lounge room, it's quite a big space. Uh, we have this gorgeous gas log fire and this mantelpiece, which is actually from Shots Emporium. And I just love how the mantelpiece is such a feature. We can then look outside onto our alfresco and backyard, which is yet to be done. We have French doors looking out over the area on both sides, so dining and lounge room, which I feel gives it such a Hamptons feel. Then moving over to the dining area, it's pretty much just a blank space with the light above it. <laughs> One of my favorite parts about this open plan area is this light. It's from Beacon Lighting and it just creates such a beautiful ambience in the room when it's on. I just adore it. And welcome to our kitchen. One of my favorite spots in the house. It just looks so elegant and classy and it's just timeless. I am so obsessed with it. Okay, so in the island bench, we have a pull-out bin which has two sides. So one can be recyclables and the other rubbish. And we have soft clothes drawers I am so in love. We have a little spot for our microwave and then our dishwasher. Above the bench, we have these gorgeous lights which are also from Shots Emporium. And they match the black sink which is a Frankie sink. And then we've got this beautiful tap over the top of the sink. Behind the island we have heaps of storage with cupboards and also our stove and our range hood. They are both from Smeg. We have overhead cupboards to store everything as well as heaps of drawers down below. A feature to the kitchen are these lights which are underneath the overhead cupboards. I think that they really just make the area pop and they do a beautiful job at highlighting the gorgeous Spanish style subway tiles. They have a light grey grout which I think just sets them off and really makes them a feature. 
And you guys are probably like, oh my God, where's the fridge going? It's going just here in this little cavity made. I like the fact that it's hidden. So then if you have things stuck on the fridge like magnets and you can't see it. And then through here we have our butler's pantry, which just looks like this. We decided to put a sink in it and I'm so glad we did because I use it all the time to wash up. And there is heaps of storage in here as well for all of our food and the toaster and the kettle live in here. Um, so we have these overhead cupboards uh, like we do in the main kitchen. And then down below on this side, we have some cupboards down here, but they have these racks in them, which are so handy for all the cans and even like potatoes and stuff like that, they can be in there. Over on this side, we have some smaller drawers. And then we have larger drawers for a lot more food. These are all soft clothes drawers as well, which is great. We decided to keep the same theme that we had in the main kitchen. So we had the same countertops and splashback and cupboards and everything. And it kind of looks like a mirrored effect actually. Then through here we have the laundry. A lot of people walk in there here and they're like, it's massive. <laughs> it's just a little bit wider than normal and I guess maybe a bit longer. We actually have a spot for Coco's litter, so that's what that hole is in the bench. And we have a broom cupboard in here, which is great for storing like the vacuum and um, our steamer and things like that. And yeah, heaps of storage. We've even got a, a clothes hamper in here, which is perfect for the dirty clothes. And around the corner from the pantry, we have this room here. This was meant to be a third toilet in the house, but we had it changed into a drying room. It has these removable racks. It also has a heat vent and a fan up the top. So you can dry your clothes and laundry in here. It is very cold in Victoria, Australia in winter. So this room is perfect and then you don't have your clothes racks hanging around in the house somewhere. Then if you head back through the pantry and the kitchen, we are gonna go down the hallway into the main bathroom. Now this first room is like a washroom. So it has separate doors to the uh, shower and the toilet. Uh, we went with the same theme that was in the ensuite. So the same splashback type tile and the same cabinetry and everything like that. We just like how everything's the same in the house. So here is the separate room for the toilet and then we have the separate room for the bath and shower. So this bath is actually really big. We didn't realize how big it was, but it looks pretty cool. <laughs> of course, the same thing with the tiles on the walls in the bathroom. We didn't go all the way up to the top of the ceiling with the tiles, uh, but we still have the shower base being tiled, which we're so happy with, much better than the shower base. And we also like that there is room to move in the shower. Uh, so we made both of our showers quite big and they're just great. <laughs> So out of the bathroom and then turn left, we just have a bedroom. We have a four bedroom house. So this is, I guess, the second bedroom. <laughs> um, so it just looks like this, really plain. We do have built-in robes in all of the bedrooms. So they all look the same. They have a shelving unit and then a rail so you can hang things up as well. And then a shelf on the top. So it's got pretty good storage. Okay, so moving down the hallway, we're going to go into bedroom three, which basically looks the same. <laughs> So coming back into the hallway, we have our linen cupboards. We have three, but they're all adjoined. So if you look down there, it goes to the third one. Uh, we made sure we had a lot of storage in this house, which is great. That leads on to the back living room, lounge room, rumpus room. On the plan, it's called a kid's retreat, but it's just basically an extra lounge room. Then coming off of this room is the last bedroom. So, yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory. So 
that is it for the house tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I have waited so long for this house. If you watched our last house tour when we said we were building, it's finally here. We're finally in and I am loving it so far. As I said before, I can't wait to show you how I'm going to decorate the place, how I already have. Heaps more videos coming out. It will be a while before a full house tour comes out. I'm aiming to have it done by the end of the year, so please be patient. But there will be so many more videos coming out, so make sure you're subscribed to see them. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!